Shalom, shalom. This is Brother Wasil Bay. About to drop some jewels, common sense. You know what I'm saying? If you are a stepfather, don't expect much. If you are a stepfather, do not expect much. Okay? Real talk. Don't expect much. Don't do it. You know, if you're going to be there, be a role model. Show them the way. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be there. If you decide to do some of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And uh, don't expect much, man. Just don't. You know, try to be like what Shaq Daddy did. Shaq Daddy got paid. You know what I'm saying? Do some real shit. If not, don't expect much for, for uh, a woman who always blamed the man. Well, he did this to me. He did. What did you do? What you do, boo? Huh? What did you do? Did you run your mouth? Did you run your mouth? See, I'm going to tell you why. And this guy is going to tell you why, too. It says child support and step parents. That's the title of the video, too. You know what I'm saying? There you go. And this is the benefits you'll get from being a step parent. When you make that stepchild mad, they're going to call you by your first name, tell you to fuck you, go fuck yourself. You know what I'm saying? I don't like him. Or they can get older and wait till you go to sleep, kill your motherfucking ass. You know what I'm saying? Beat you to death when you sleep, you know, unless you don't stop that shit at the door. Unless you raise them like they about two years old, then you good. But if you're just coming into a relationship where she has older kids, man, don't expect much, all right? Real talk. I'm going to let this dude elaborate on it. He going to back me up. He's a He's a... He's a little liar. He's a lawyer, okay? Parentis, or the unknown natural father. The simple answer is she may pursue both. The father standing in loco parentis may wish to raise the argument that he is not the biological father and therefore should not be pursued for support. However, this argument will not absolve him of support obligations. Courts will generally order a natural father to pay full table support and have the discretion to order full table support with the father standing in loco parentis. This may also apply when someone is a step parent for a relatively short time. So if you are living with someone, for example, and your common law spouse has children, and you have acted as a parent. He said common law spouse. See, he gave a little secret. You know what I'm saying? Bam, right out of his mouth. Figure for those children you may be pursued for child support. He said you may be pursued for child support. That's why I say don't expect much. Expect this type shit. Expect some fuckery. All right? This may not seem fair, but it is the law. The next logical question then... They said it's not fair. He said it's not fair, but it's the law. No, it ain't. It's not the law, you lying motherfucker. It's some pussy-ass guidelines, faggot-ass statutes. Bitch, please. How can the mother pursue the natural father for child support? Especially given the fact that in fertility contracts, donors opt out of child support obligations and access rights. The answer to this question is somewhat unnerving. There's currently no legislation protecting anonymous donors from being pursued for child support in Ontario. It is also important for me to point out that child support is considered the right of the child. Therefore, courts will often set aside parties' efforts to contract out of it. And in fact, you cannot contract out of child support under any circumstance. So in the example I just talked about... He said you cannot contract out of child support. He's a lie. You cannot be forced to contract with anyone. Okay? You cannot be forced to contract. This is how these demons 
lie and make their money. They fool you. We have um, millions and millions of remedies. You can take their money and make them sleep on the street, sell their pussy, and be little bitches. How can the mother even find the natural father to pursue him for child support? Remember, his contract with the fertility clinic likely includes sperm donation on the condition he remains anonymous. Case law suggests that pursuant to the family law rules, disclosure from third parties, in this case the fertility clinic, may be ordered following a finding of six requirements. First, the document in question may be ordered. Did he see did he say will be ordered? No, this bitch keep using maybe, maybe, maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe I might go fuck me some Brazilian hoes. Maybe not, maybe so. Who knows? Must be in the control of the non-party. Second, the document must only be available to the non-party. Third, the document must not be protected by a legal privilege. Fourth, it would be unfair for the party to proceed without the information in question. Fifth, the document must be relevant and necessary. And the final requirement is notice to the third party. In applying this analysis, it is plausible that the mother could obtain an order that the fertility clinic release the contact information of the biological father to allow her to proceed with a claim for child support. This is a complex yet interesting issue that opens a floodgate. What I tell y'all, if something is hard and complex, it's a fucking fraud. Okay? That's what you need to understand, people. Fellas, stop being a pussy. Stop being a bitch. Hold your nuts or cut them off. Or cut your dick off along with it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all need to wake up. Wake the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Quit being a bitch. Stop being a faggot ass bitch. Alright? There's pussies like this on the screen. Sit up here and defraud you out your shit. Out your money. Because he keep using maybe. And he say will. He ain't saying definitely. He said maybe. And you fall for it. He put your ass in under hypnosis. You know what I'm saying? He looks so serious, but he's so scary and adorable. Okay? This guy is scary. He's not tough. Whatsoever. Well, yeah, why well, see you hide behind a, a, a computer screen? No, I'm not hiding. I'm exposing, okay? My face has nothing to do with telling facts. And the facts remain that you motherfuckers who get lawyers for child support, you just fucked yourself. Deeply, deeply down your doodle shoot. Okay? Deeply down your little doodle shoot. Some of you need to book over and accept the royal fucking. Or wake the hell up. Stop being a bitch. And let pussies like this help ruin your life. Because it starts with you. Ain't nobody forcing you to sign shit. He got a contract talking about it you can't get out of it. You a motherfucking liar. You can get out of it. There's plenty of ways you can get out of it. There's a million ways to skin a cat. Alright? You know how to reach us. Get at us. This is Sham Stoppers. The greatest motherfucking channel on YouTube. And remember, if you are a stepfather, don't expect much. Expect this bullshit. You know what I'm talking about? Go through all my motherfucking videos. Listen to the goddamn videos that'll help your motherfucking ass out. Stop complaining. Stop wanting, oh, oh, I want to hurry up and win. Huh, huh, huh. And you ain't read a motherfucking book. Shit. This is the year of the man, not the year of the bitch. All right? You know what time it is. Y'all know this ain't no sovereign citizen movement. None of that old silly ass, dumb ass shit. These faggots made up, you know. They don't want y'all to be men. I want y'all to be men, you know.
Stand up. Stand your square. Stop being a hoe. Stop getting pimped. All right? Peace.